Right, something that students often find difficult is when you get a perpetuity in, say, year five or something, and you have to discount it down. So you have to calculate the perpetuity and then discount it down. So let's see how we do it with this example. So after year four, you're told there's an expected annual growth rate to the free company's free cash flows of 4% for the foreseeable future. And for the foreseeable future means it's a perpetuity, goes on forever. So cost of capital 10% and year four's free cash flows were 100. So step one, calculate the cash flow expected in year four, in year five, which is easy. You just take year four's 100 and you increase it by the growth rate, which in this case is 4% to give you 104. Step two, we need to turn that into a perpetuity. And you do that by dividing it by the cost of capital minus growth as a decimal. So cost of capital is 10%, growth is 4%, 6% as a, de as a decimal is 0 0.06. So you take the 104 and divide it by 0 0.06, and that gives you the value of the perpetuity, okay? That's the figure that we want. However, we need to discount that down. We need to discount it down for four years, okay? So discount it down by 10%, so divide by 1.10 for four years. So 1.10 to the power of four. Okay, and that will give you your answer of 1184.